if a1, a2, a3 dash 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 are in AP and D is the common difference, then tangent inverse D upon 1 plus a1, a2 plus tangent inverse D upon 1 plus a2, a3 plus so on tangent inverse D upon 1 plus a n into n plus 1 is equal to the options are tangent inverse n minus 1 into D divided by 1 plus a1, a n plus 1. Second option is tangent inverse n D upon 1 plus a1, a n plus 1. Third option is tangent inverse n plus 1 into D upon 1 plus a1, a n plus 1. And last option is none of these. Now we know that D is the difference. Therefore, D is equal to A2 minus A1 or A3 minus A2 or A4 minus A3. Similarly, An plus 1 minus An. They are all the values of difference D. T1 is equal, the first term of the given collection is equal to T1 equal to tangent inverse D upon 1 plus A1, A2. Replacing D by A2 minus A1, we get it equal to tangent inverse A2 minus A1 upon 1 plus A1, A2, which is equal to tangent inverse A2 minus tangent inverse A1 using the formula for inverse trigonometric functions. Similarly, T2 is equal to tangent inverse D upon 1 plus A2, A3. Here we use the for value of D as A3 minus A2 which becomes tangent inverse A3 minus A2 upon 1 plus A2, A3. That is equal to tangent inverse A3 minus tangent inverse A2. Similarly, so on, Tn is equal to tangent inverse D upon 1 plus An into An plus 1. Here we replace D by An plus 1 minus An. Therefore, tangent inverse a n plus 1 minus a n divided by 1 plus a n into a n plus 1, which is equal to tangent inverse of a n plus 1 minus tangent inverse a n. Adding them up, we get s n equal to tangent inverse a n plus 1 minus tangent inverse a 1. Combining them again, we get tangent inverse a n plus 1 minus a 1 divided by 1 plus a 1 a n plus 1. We know that a n plus 1 is equal to a 1 plus n times d. Therefore, a n plus 1 minus a 1 is equal to n d. Replacing the numerator, we get tangent inverse n d divided by 1 plus a 1 a n plus 1, which shows that option b is correct. The first term and the last term of an AP are A and L respectively. If S be the sum of all the terms, then the common difference is, the options are L square minus A square divided by 2S minus L. L square minus A square divided by 2S minus L plus A. Or L square minus A square divided by 2S minus A or L square minus S square divided by 2S minus A minus L. We are given A the first term, L the last term. And if N is the number of terms, then S is equal to N by 2 into A plus L, which gives us N equal to 2S upon A plus L. Also, L is the last term. L is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D, which gives us D equal to L minus A divided by N minus 1. Substituting the value of N, we get L minus A divided by 2S upon A plus L minus 1, which is equal to L minus S upon Putting the values of n, we get 2s minus a minus l divided by a plus l. a plus l goes to the top, 
we get L square minus A square divided by 2S minus A minus L, which shows option D is correct.